So how are you? Today we're gonna be going over gestures. So we have five type of gestures. UI pinch. Let's just write it down. Over. So we have pinch, uh, pan, swipe, rotate, and one more tap. And then we're gonna be going over all of it. So basically like if you if you wanted to do it using code which you don't do it anymore but still if you want to do it basically you instantiate the class like for the like for the pan is UI just pan gesture recognizer for the swipe it is UI swipe gesture for tap it is UI tap gesture and much more and then you give it a target and an action and then you can also give it of a pan GI uh, then you have to uh, set the properties if you feel like it's optional and then you have to add it to your view and then you once you add it to your view then you can just call the method and execute it so let's do it using code so let's do it let's give it a name gesture okay and now let's hit storyboard Mm. Nothing. so we just have to instantiate the class suppose we are using tab so you just say UI tab start tab instantiate this class so you tap alec in it with target so you say self then you say add selector then you say tab method Okay, so you say tap method and then you add it to it. So you say self dot view add gesture recognizer. You say tap now over here. You make of the method declaration tap method. So you say UI. So you say tap. So for tap, you have to now uh, call this. Let's say ns log. Okay. So see. It's working but now you can use storyboard so you can just simply add add the tabs and shit so now you don't need to use this via code just remove this whole code part you simply go to the storyboard write gestures looking for tap gestures you can include the tab and then over here you can just make it of variable so tap is over here so you can just make it of variable tap action then oh so tap you have to make it a type action you say tap method and inside tap method you can just say ns log the method is pressed and then you run the application so it works the same way okay so let's look at at like all of our gestures so this was tap as you just saw so let's embed it in a collection table view mm, embedded in tab bar controller and set my tab bar controller so this is my this is my tab so let's add more controllers say swipe view controller you add a swipe and then from the storyboard so from the storyboard you also add the swipe um, you first add the view controller 
give it the name swipe just a controller swipe view controller and now in the swipe view controller you add the swipe gesture um, gesture swipe gesture so now we give it the name swipe gesture and once you give it the name swipe gesture so now you can just simply go ahead and just simply control drag over here simply say action swipe action and then also make it of type of variables so say swipe var okay everyone that's it and then you're gonna call it action as a method and then you're gonna print out ns log saying swipe is active okay so right now and then name this also connect it by setting control over here dragging it and view controllers so now you have added this item to the tab controller then over here say swipe now do the same thing for more three controllers for rotate pan and a pinch I I did it so my view controller is is my is my tab gesture this is my swipe gesture this is my rotate view this is my pinch view this is my pan view uh, so in my storyboard I basically made my five views and then I have the five view controllers one for each one for each gesture and then okay so let's go to my first one so we have the tap where right so in my tap where I have this tap action and over here I will press that when the tap is pressed so I will add this line when the tap is pressed so my tap so see so this method is called whenever the tap is pressed now there are pro properties of the inside this variable you are tap organizer so there are number of taps required number of touches required so you can say uh, tab where dot number of taps required equal to 2 and then you have it run so now this method will not be called when you hit it one time you have to hit it two times then only this method is called So there are more methods to it number of touches required how many fingers you require and once you have the finger then you can do like change images go to other view or do whatever you feel like inside this method now we come to the swipe so this swipe is basically don't look at this part right now swipe is basically like when you're swiping on it so we have the swipe is observe and it's log thing you go on the swipe tab uh, so the simulator only this swipe is working from left to right okay and now inside this one you can also have so once you go inside the UI direction swipe direction you have this property as direction so in this one you can check a swipe dot direction equal to equal to UI swipe gesture direction right then only do it else do not do anything I'm a swap C so this if loop is working when I'm going to left to right okay then the rotate view so let's look at this part so rotate view simply like this method will be called whenever something will be rotating so let's go inside this class you have two properties velocity and rotation rotation is a radiance velocity is the speed so let's print out the rotation first when you hit run go on the rotation tab hit alt alt is for two fingers and then when you rotate it you can see the radiance so anti-clockwise is negative clockwise is positive and then you can also print out the velocity so rotation is for this velocity 
basically so you're getting these values and by based on these values then you can keep on changing the ch changing the center of the picture or change the size rotate a picture or do something whatever you wish to then you have the pinch so pinch is basically like when you want to make a picture small or bigger let's go inside this class you have two properties scale and velocity so scale is basically when, how much two fingers are far away pinch this half finger too. and the second thing is velocity that you print on based on this you can keep on changing the focus increasing the focus then the last you have the pan the pan gesture and let's go to the pan gesture to grab the properties so these are two methods translation in view which will return you the coordinates and then it has the velocity which will give you the velocity so let's see so as I told before so now the pairing class is a gesture recognizer so it also has the gesture recognizer states if if dot state y gesture recognizer state began and began ended okay so there are two states began and ended so let's see this so, probably, so let's remove this part so on the pan so when it began now I leave it it stopped it began it stopped it began it stopped it began it stopped so how to see now when it begins we can just print out the so the method is translation in view uh, so you say pan where so this will return you the coordinates of the now in our objective C we can't really print out the, the CG float because this one is giving you back a CG float so the method is n string from uh, CG uh, CG point so this one it will begin and it's It, so so it's so giving me the beginning point now beginning point of the motion okay then I can do the same thing for and I can do for for the velocity as well so uh, pan gesture what is the return type so the pan gesture has a return type of CG point only I can use the same code for So this will give me the speed okay okay guys so that was all about gestures thanks for watching my video so if you like my video please subscribe to my channel see you next time